At the crest of the hill, there was a simple stone monument, and it was here that Annie stopped. The Horse Whisperer has propelled first-time novelist Nicholas Evans from a struggling writer to best-selling author. His sudden success includes a $3 million film deal with Robert Redford. At a recent literary festival in England, Evans still seemed taken aback by his triumph. You know, if I'd tried to write a bestseller a year ago, I'd have written a kind of thrill, action thriller or something. And, um, and if someone had said, well, if you, actually the, work, the thing to do is to write it a a love story set around a damaged horse. I, I said, don't be ridiculous, it's not. <laughs> but I just, sort of had, I just fell in love with the story, really. He's not the only one. The novel, set in Montana, has topped the US bestseller list, and its spiritual thread has struck a universal chord. When Robert Redford called, it was just so clear that he understood everything about the book. I mean, he had it in his heart. And he has a kind of... Um, integrity and a, a sort of spiritual quality, actually, which is right for the book. You know, he saw that element in it. I mean, it if Evans's level, characters it's, prove it's, as fortunate as him, story the story the must have a happy ending. In 1876, George Armstrong Custer and more than 200 soldiers.